Welcome to Toonheads. Tonight we enlist in the United States Armed Forces with Private Snafu. The series was created at the start of World War II by Theodore Geisel, who was known as Dr. Seuss. Snafu was a private in the United States Army. But instead of teaching by proper example, this sloppy soldier did everything wrong. Snafu's poor performance was a humorous way for the animation directors to explain deadly serious topics like gun maintenance, military secrecy, and the importance of field manuals. Study nuts. A majority of the 28 Snafu instructional cartoons were created by Chuck Jones or Frizz Freeling. The very first cartoon was called Coming Snafu. It was directed by Jones and released in June of 1943. I know my rights as a soldier. Because Snafu cartoons were only shown to U.S. soldiers, they were allowed to be much more risque than normal theatrical cartoons. Snafu was an immediate hit with the men of the United States Army. And now, Private Snafu's debut cartoon, Coming Snafu. Situation normal. All... All fouled up. <laughs> this is Snafu. Snafu's a soldier. He's a patriotic, conscientious guy. Uh, thinks the army's swell. Uh, that is, with a few minor changes. You'll find Snafu in all branches of the service, such as the infantry. In the matter of rolling a pack, Snafu has improved somewhat on the regulation army method, resulting in a more compact kit. Dr. Seuss wrote many of the early Snafu cartoons. Listen closely and you will recognize his rhyming style in the cartoon, Spies. I just learned a secret. It's a honey. It's a pip. But the enemy is listening, so I'll never let it slip. Cause when I learn a secret, boy, I zipper up my lip. Now the military secret that I carry in my brain, I keep in safe deposit with a padlock and chain. You bet I got a secret. Oh, and I bet we find it out. 
The soldier's got a secret, but I bet we find it out. Hello, Ma. I got a secret. I can only drop a tip. Don't breathe a word to no one, but I'm going on a trip. Don't breathe a word to no one, but he's going on a trip. Hey, give me some magazines to read for when I'm on the ship. Don't breathe a word to no one, but he's going to go by ship. It's a sense to keep a secret, if a fella just takes care. He's sailing on a troop ship, now we got to find out where. I'm a sound and silent soldier, just as steady as a rock. Here's to my little secret, with its chain and padlock. Hello, baby. Hiya, fussy. Say you're a lifting trick. I hope I'll meet some babes in Africa as cute as you are. <laughs> This message is important. I must fly a double trick. It's been a wonderful evening, and I'd like to stay some more. But I gotta get a move on now. I sail at half past four. He's got to get a move on now. He sails at half past four. Hey, the troop ship bound for Africa pulls out at half past four. Calling all bull back. Calling all bull back. The transport ship for Africa pulled down at half past four. only directed two snafu cartoons My guns are the best. but they're both considered among the best oh, I'll be the, war's greatest hero. the first was entitled fighting tools Stick him up or I'll blow your brains out. this cartoon focused on proper weapons maintenance his second effort was called booby traps Boy. the cartoon took a rather risque approach to landmines and other types of trickery. And now, Bob Clampett's last snafu cartoon, Booby Traps. The enemy has fled, abandoning the area. As our forces move up, they must exercise great care. Every object is a possible booby trap. Some booby traps are more alluring and ingenious than others. If you are a boob, you will be trapped. I wish the hell you'd shut up. I ain't no boob and I won't be trapped. Me. <laughs> Could this be one of them there booby traps? Mm, could be.
Nina! about no booby traps. Now it's time for Toon Heads Trivia. The United States Navy produced a sailor counterpart to Private Snafu. What was his name and who created him? Find out when Toon Heads returns in just a moment. Welcome back to Toonhead's Trivia. The United States Navy produced a sailor counterpart to Private Snafu. What was his name and who created him? You want to know, huh? His name was Mr. Hook. And the artist who created him was Hank Ketchum. Six years after creating Hook... Oh, oh, oh. wrong suit, huh? <laughs> Ketchum produced his most memorable character, Dennis the Menace. Now back to more Private Snafu. By the early 40s, the popularity of Superman was tremendous. Inspired by the Man of Steel, Chris Freeling created a parody of the all-American superhero. Oh, boy! In tonight's fourth cartoon, snafu for man to do some brain work. How the hell do you expect a guy to study with all that racket going on? Study? Nuts. When I get at them Nazis, I ain't gonna clunk them over the head with no books. What you gotta give them dopes is a belly full of lead. <laughs> Hello, Superman. Huh? Well, if I was Superman, I bet you I'd show them plenty. Okay, chum. As technical fairy voice class, I now pronounce you snafu -a man Oh, boy! Enemies of democracy, beware! <laughs> Thank you, Ben. 
very much. But I am not bombing Berlin with maps this season. <laughs> Japanese tank. Come out, you bandy-legged disturber of world peace. I deserve this. General, I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. A bomb or port, eh? Ashland directed four snafu cartoons. The Gold Brick, The Home Front, It's so cold it would freeze the nuts off a jeep. The Chow Hound, Come and get it! And tonight's final cartoon short, Censored. This cartoon stressed the importance of GI's guarding military secrets. Like the cartoon snafu Man. Censored also starred Snafu's sidekick. Technical fairy, voice class, yes, Sinus. The little GI fairy appeared in nine of the 28 Snafu cartoons. And now, Frank Tashlin's Censored. Dear Sally Lou, this is it. They'll be shipping us out soon. From the equipment, it looks like the South Pacific. Confidential. So I'm staking this past the sensor. way to the port of embarkation. They gave us shots for tropical diseases, so I know it's the South Pacific. Hey, bud! Mail this for me!